Demand for services is just high right now. It all goes back on the employees, the physicians, the nurses. So it's really important for us to show our appreciation. Which is why one by one on Friday afternoon, Broadlawn's medical providers lined up in front of food trucks outside the hospital. From icy treats to food served hot and fresh, the hospital team briefly stepped away from the grim reality faced behind hospital doors. We're not at capacity, but you know, we're, we're pretty full and we're real busy. Interim CEO Carl Willem says tensions can be high when hospitals are this full, but when it comes to the Broadlawns team, he says they're always great. To have a great staff is, is to have a great hospital, so it's, it's a key to make to our success. So it should come as no surprise Willems doesn't want to lose anyone. A 2021 joint report by the Kaiser Family Foundation and the Washington Post shows nearly 30 percent of health care providers have considered no longer working in the field as a result of the pandemic. But there is uh, some, you know, weariness uh, overall as the pandemic, you know, continues. Kevin Carroll is the vice president for behavioral health with Des Moines Unity Point. He says what they're trying to do is reach out to health care providers. We're trying to support them as much as we can. Uh, and uh, listen to them and offer encouragement. As healthcare providers across the nation see a surge in patients, hospitals look for ways to ease the burden from their staff. And Carol says communities can play a role of their own. Much like they did last year as bells rang in recognition of frontline workers' hard work. Well, we love you and thank you for everything that you do. And encouraging words from strangers were shared. Carol says the community support can go a lot further than people know.